Hello everybody, yes, it's Pythia, and welcome back to another video on the Twin Place channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about making a grab system. Uh, this is for your Steel Brain Rock kit. You know, if you have the kit and you've been following the tutorials, you should be able to implement this really, really easily. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get straight into this, and yeah, let's do it. Head to studio real quick. Okay, so if you're in studio, um, you should be here in your game. Um, if you do click play right now, this is my game that has not already been added or changed. Um, but when you play your game, you should... Okay, it looks like I have one person... Oh, I have a, a secret gold. Um, so this is a cell. It only has cell on it right now, okay? So this is how it was made in the kit. Um, but we're going to make it so you can do more than just cell. Now, um, I'm going to grab one actually just for the sake of the video because I want to do two of them just to show you some things. But... We are going to have to make another proximity prop and put a grab over on all this stuff. But I already did all the work for you guys. It was a pain in my butt just a little bit um, because there's actually a lot of stuff you have to check when it comes to it. Um, but it should be working great. You guys do have to watch this video and script just a little bit. So please, please watch this video um, because I don't want to just give it to you guys. I want you to watch it and understand just a few things. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so we have our two things. Okay. So I'm going to click stop now. You're going to go in the description if you are a part of memberships. Thank you guys who are part of memberships and in the Discord server right now. I appreciate you all very much. Um, I do have the models that are given to you if you do want to be part of the access and you can just, you know, get the models for free and you don't have to worry about programming or anything. Um, but yeah, so if you go in the description and you grab this right here, this will have it and you can open in studio or download whatever is easier for you guys. Um, so go ahead and do that. And when you go in studio, um, you should, once you click that and have it, Go to your toolbox, okay? So your toolbox should be in the inventory up here. And now that I own in the model when I click it, um, you should be able to import this. Okay, so I'm going to import this. And uh, there's just a little readme right here which talks about what we need to do. So um, I'm going to grab my actual game right here. And basically, we are going to have to code just a little bit of some things. Not too difficult, not too hard. Um, so I'm going to get this for you guys. But okay, so... Um, just, uh, Okay, so on line 984 to line 1047, we are going to do a few things. So um, you're going to replace this module into your old one. So go to server storage, go to um, things right here, okay? I'm oh, sorry, and go to modules right here. Um, and you're going to replace this. Um, I guess this is my old game, so I'm just going to delete that. You're going to replace this, so you're good to delete it. But just one thing real quick, make sure that if you do have your old, like, um, I like box timers. If you watch my Lucky Block video, um, if you haven't watched my Lucky Block video, make sure to go watch that because you don't want to get the kit and then not have this Lucky Block stuff. So make sure you do have that. If you don't have that, you're going to need it. Um, but yeah, so just change this to like, just copy your old script right here and put it in the new one. But it should have this right here for you. It should have here. Um, so basically, I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to put my new one in here, okay? Now, don't play the game because it's going to break it. We got to program just a few things, but there was a lot that was added. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly explain. Um, I had to add a bunch of functions that check if you are moving it to a certain slot. Um, and it all has like some comments on if you want to look at them, but like it checks if they're unlocked, checks if they're not. We had to double check that if you're moving it and you have money that's pending, we had to give the player that has uh, the money. Um, and then we did a thing where we did a ghost model. So I'll explain what that is. It's pretty cool. Um, kind of like shield brain rot. And we also did a carry, so a carry function, so it handles all of the carrying of the player. And then set props enable. We also do, yeah, another carry animation. Um, and then this is the spawning it. So this is like showing the carry at clone. Um, and then these are the old things that we added. So we don't have to worry about this as part of the uh, lucky blocks. And then we have a create function in here. So this goes and makes the uh, thing itself. Um, and then you had to add a new function, a new function that was good begin owner move. So this basically goes through the functions that we all did. And this is when we trigger it and make sure that we give it to the player. Um, so, I mean, yeah, we're, we're just basically doing the owner carry and double checking that they are carrying it. So that's what this function does. Um, and then right here is when we finish it. So we succeed and all that kind of stuff. So this is where we're actually going to go and um, add some things into it after. But yeah, so this goes through and says that it was returned to original slot. It also shows um, that there was a slot taken, things like that. So that's kind of what uh, goes here and uh, shows. Um, but yeah, so if you want to customize this too, by the way, you can with uh, like a return to original slot or like you want to say slot taken, you can change those names out. Uh, it's up to you. 
but yeah so right here is what we're gonna fill out so i like i said there was a lot that i did and added like if you look down here um well this is proximity prompt there's just some things that i had to do like ensure pending money we had to change some of the um text right here it used to look like this but now we double check that we're doing the pending money which is checking if there was any money that was changed or like not earned all those kind of things so don't worry about that but we're gonna fill this out right here so what i'm making you guys fill out is the anchor parts so when you have the proximity prompts you know we need two of them but how do we put two of them instead of just on the same spot we want to put one above each other okay so we're going to create anchors okay so i already have a little bit filled out for you so we're going to just do this okay so local top anchor equals and we're going to do thing so the thing is that like um model that we're grabbing so the the parent of the model and we're gonna do primary part and we're gonna do fine uh fine first child oh my gosh first child <laughs> and we're gonna do prompt anchor top okay so if top anchor then we are going to do proximity prompt dot parent equals top anchor okay so uh prompt anchor top is actually already made so i made it right here in the uh, prompt anchors so you don't need to worry about it it's already made but what happens um, which I will talk about um, actually we can do this right now um, it, it already gets made so this is probably the nicest part about it is that I already made it for you so if you want to change the position as you can tell if you search this up in the control F you can see this is zero one so which is saying it's gonna go up one stud and then we're gonna do the bottom anchor which is gonna go down one stud if you want to customize them a bit and make them a little higher can you can go like 1.2 um 1.5 i don't recommend making it too high though because it's just not going to look right um but yeah so that's how that works now um going back to what we were doing uh yeah prompt anchor let's go back okay right here so what we're doing is we if we find the top anchor we are going to set this proximity prompt dot parent to the top anchor now what is this proximity prompt what is it it is the proximity prompt that goes on uh, the thing. That is the cell, the steel, all that kind of stuff. That is what anchor is. This proximity prompt is this variable. So um, we're gonna set that top anchor. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do proximity prompt and we're gonna go dot and we're gonna go exclusivity. So um, exclusive, exclusivity. <laughs> Let's say that. <laughs> no one clipped that. Um, proximity prompt <laughs> exclusivity. Oh my lord. I'll always show okay so we're gonna say and make sure that it's always showing okay so it these probably already are configured so you don't need to worry about that but we are gonna do another thing as well just in case i i made it at first um we had the prompt order was different but now we're gonna set it to one so it's gonna be on top of anything if that happens or is the case but it's not because it is high enough now um and then require line so requires yeah requires yeah line of sight um right here equals false okay that basically checks that um, if it's like behind a part, doesn't need to be seen. So like if it's like it's, if it's behind a wall, do you have to see it behind like go behind the wall to see it, or can you see it at all times? So we're just gonna make it false because no, we want to see it at all times if they're in the range. So that's what that does. Um, and then proximity prompt dot um, well hold duration is already set, so we don't need to do that. But max activation distance equals five. Now if you do actually want to just like customize again, like right here, so you can move this down to here. Um, and then if you want to customize like the uh, duration of how long it's cold, it's like two seconds, three seconds, it's up to you. Now, remember, this is the cell slash deal kind of prompt, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so that is good. So now we have the move prompt. So we're good here. Um, we're, good on, we're good on the top anchor, and that should actually be done. It actually works, um, but we don't need to worry about that right now. So, okay. Now, what do we do next? So with this move prompt, we want to change it so we can move things around, right? But we don't want to move Lucky Brocks around because we just want them to open it. And then once it gives you a thing, then they can move the things around. Um, at least is what I would think is what they do in uh, the game. But so what we do is we just go like this and we check. Okay, so if not is Lucky Block, which um, this is a function that we use uh, right here. And this just checks if it's not, if the name is not equal to one of the names in here, basically. So um that's all we're doing so it's uh pretty simple enough with that okay so if it's if it's not a lucky block then we are going to go through here and we are going to um do a few things so move prompt equals insert dot proximity prompt okay and we're gonna do thing dot primary part why are we doing the primary part that's the humanoid root part so we want to make sure that it, that prompt is going right where they are right where they're standing so move prompt dot name equals move prompt okay so we're going to set this new move prompt to that we're going to say object text equals name. So name, by the way, is like 
the thing or a cat or like whatever you like put i said in the last video it was like lebron james is your character then that is the name okay that's what it's gonna say then action text is grab if you want to make it move attack and make it move you don't have to keep it grab okay and we do move prompt dot hold duration equals one like i said you can change this to anything if you want to make it so they don't have to change hold anything just do zero but we'll make it one then we're going to do move prompt dot requires line of sight equals uh false of course same thing again and then same thing with this too you can just copy these so we're just gonna make sure that these are always done and then we're gonna go proximity oh sorry uh, no this is proximity prompt i'm gonna do move prompt by the way sorry i did that um and then we're gonna do move prompt uh same thing again with this one actually yeah duh. uh we're gonna go two on this so that shows but like after basically and then double check you guys are making sure you're doing that if you're copying and pasting um, and then if you want to, you can do keyboard code. So if you want to uh, make it so they hold down a certain thing, you can do key code dot R. Um, if you want to do, I don't know if they have a gamepad. Yeah, they have gamepad code. So then you can do enum dot uh, gamepad, right? Gamepad type dot, no, gamepad. Let's see here, gamepad. I forgot what it's called, console or controller or something. I forgot what it's called. I, I have to look at that real quick. Um, there should be, I think it's, let me see, key code L1, maybe, no, so yeah, you have to use the controller thing, I forgot how that works, but you can do that, there's documentation for that, I honestly never have done that in a while, so that's probably why I forgot, um, max activation distance, and the same thing again, uh, we're gonna go five, okay, um, now, so when we're done with that, and we have the move prompt, it's all set up, we're gonna do local bottom anchor, and this is kind of what we did up here, so actually, you can just go like this, guys, so just copy and paste this, we're going to say bottom anchor like this. And we're going to go anchor bottom. Okay. And then we're going to check again if it's made. If it's not. I mean, if it is, then we're going to go here and we're going to set it to the bottom anchor. So we're going to set the parent to the bottom anchor. That's going to make sure that it's set. The, pro the proximity prompt is set onto that. Then we're going to go four underscore. We're going to go player in I pairs. Okay. We're going to do players like this. Get players. And we're going to do a for loop. Okay. So in here, we're going to do set properties. This is kind of what we used for the client side. We're going to do player, comma, move prompt. And we're going to do comma again. And we're going to do a little array right here. We're going to go enabled equals. We're going to go player, oops, with a, yeah, equals player. Okay, like that. Okay. So this is just going and sending through on the client side that we are making sure we are doing the move prompt and which player is doing it. And yeah, so we're going on that part. Now move prompt, this is all you have to do the rest of it dot triggered because we need to make sure we're actually doing a trigger function so uh what, what what's being sent through are they doing it or not so when it gets triggered this is where we run through everything so if triggering player is uh oops not equal to player then return end okay so we're gonna return it oh ensuring money <laughs> return end okay let's do that so that's gonna go through and check again and then we're gonna do if thing GUI, so I think things or just thing, yeah, thing GUI, there we go. Dot stolen dot visible, then return. I, okay, we're gonna go through and do that again. Um, so that's a difference I'll watch talk about in my second here. If leaving players is player dot user ID, um, like this, then return and again. Okay. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna do local. Okay, we're gonna say okay, and we're gonna go error equals module dot we're gonna go underscore begin on a remove and we're gonna go player base so there's a few there's a big uh, line right here so player and we're this is when we do the begin owner move and to double check what we're sending through we can go back to the uh begin over move so if we go right here we need to get all of these so i actually think i could just copy this but let's just go down here again uh oops okay yeah so player base and we're gonna go we're gonna go slot we're gonna go name apply traits mutation and then thing like that. That should be right. Uh, perfect. Okay. So what we're doing here is we're going to double check and we're going to make sure it goes through. And if not, okay. So it's not okay. We didn't get the, we didn't get the beginner of move. Then we are going to do uh, notification fire um, client. Yes. Player. And we're going to send the error. Okay. Or cannot move right now. And we're going to do comma false. Okay. So this is just double checking that we can move it. We can't move it we're going to send to the notification that you can't move it. okay and we're going to do set properties dot client one more time we're going to go player proximity prompt comma and then one more again enabled equals true and then set properties dot client 
player. We're going to go move prompt, comma, and we're going to go right here. We're going to go enabled equals false. Oh, wait, sorry. I should. This is actually false, too. Oops. Okay. Now, um, if collect, this is the last thing you need to do. If collect attachment, then collect attachment, destroy. Okay? So, um, end right here. So, what that's going to do is if we have the collect attachment with this, the money and everything, we're just going to destroy it. Okay? Um, because we're moving them and we don't want to keep it there. So, let's just see. I hope there isn't any errors and I'm not missing anything that I might have missed, but there shouldn't be. Okay, so, um, yeah, so you can collect money. Let's just collect money and see real quick. All right, now, if I grab this thing. Okay, so there we go. So you walk up, and you have the thing up here. Now, guys, if you go in workspace, and you check in the bases, I think this is base two, right? Yeah, so then you go to slots. Uh, this is slot one, actually. You see we have the thing, and we go inside a thing, and we go into the humanoid root part. There's the prompt anchor bottom and prompt anchor top. So um, that's what I was trying to tell you guys about is how we do the attachments. Now, you can move them if you want, you know, test them out. So if this was like... This was originally like negative one. You could go negative two. Um, then there's like, this is one. So maybe you go 0.5. Like, however you want to move it, you can move it. Oh, okay, that's done. So yeah, and that's that's how it works. And then you can see in here, we have the proximity prompts in here and has the names and everything just like that. And so what's happening actually is we do change the cell to uh, the thing itself. Okay, so, oops, um, let's get rid of that. I don't want to open this anything stuff. Okay, so if I hit grab, it's going to play this animation. Now, you see how I have the thing here. So basically, it like has a little ghost mode. That's what I mean by the ghost mode. Um, now, if I try and place here, it says slot taken. So we can't do that. Um, now, if I go and put it in here, it's going to move it right there. It's going to delete the old GUI, and then it's going to have a new one. Okay? So that's what happens. And then if I grab it again, double checking, um, go back right here. Sorry, this is like, it looks a little weird with the carry animation. See, that's where you kind of have to like change it a little bit. But um, and then you just place it again. And it says return to original slot. So, yeah. So, you can move them and put them wherever you need to. Um, like I said, sometimes... So, like, with my game, um, I did this animation. So, that's why, I, like, it was preferred for me. But, yeah. So, then I can place them back wherever I need to. But, yeah. With the handles and stuff, there's definitely, like, a position you can put the humanoid root part above. Um, but that's, you know, up to you guys again, once again. Um, but, yeah. So, that's, that's about it, you guys. We basically have the... Um, the script and it's something kind of simple i hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit better i think like i said if like i have a very long tutorial or like this this code was so much code and i don't even know how to explain all of it to you guys but there was just a lot that i did um i'd rather just give you guys a bunch of it and then you guys fill out just little tiny portions okay um so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video and um i will see you guys in the next video thank you very very much make sure to subscribe comment like and share and i'll see you later bye, -bye.